in ProSoft Technologies' ongoing effort to find new ways to solve customer problems, we present the Persistent Data Network, or PDN. PDN is an application in ProSoft Connect that provides a simple, secure, and managed communication network allowing distributed remote sites to communicate with each other. Once set up, PDN is always on. It's the easiest way to set up a secure communications network between remote sites. A PDN is composed of ProSoft gateways, wired or wireless, and independent of cellular carrier, communicating with each other through the cloud. ProSoft Connect is simply used as a configuration and maintenance tool. Each persistent data network is built on multiple levels of security. All tunnels are encrypted using 256-bit AES encryption. Each PDN tunnel is created using a one-time use password that is never shown to any user. Two-factor authentication is utilized when logging into ProSoft Connect. There's also no local software installation and your PDN history is maintained in a comprehensive audit trail for forensic review. PDN also provides the bandwidth for customers to bring back more data more frequently. Global network availability and reliability allows for multiple sites across cellular providers to remain continuously interconnected. Think of Persistent Data Network as a switch in the sky. To create a persistent data network, you will essentially need three things. A ProSoft Connect account, at least two gateways, wired or wireless, and a PDN subscription for each gateway, which can be ordered through your distributor. To set up a ProSoft Connect account, go to www.prosoft.io and click the Sign Up button. It's totally free. Just make sure that you use the same email to create this account as what you will use for the PDN subscription. You will also need the ICX35 cellular gateway and or the NB2 wired gateway. At least two, but as many as are needed for your application. Next, you would purchase a PDN subscription. This will entail a one-time activation and a subscription for each gateway or site, as they're referred to, that you plan on using in your PDN project. Subscriptions come in either one, two, or three year durations. When you purchase your PDN subscriptions, you'll need to provide the Connect Account owner email so the subscription can be activated. You would then open your web browser and log in to ProSoft Connect. Click the Projects button in the upper right corner. Select New Project. Give the new project a name and click Next. On the next screen, you would select Persistent Data Network as the project type. Click Next again. You can only do this if you already enabled PDN on your account. And again, you do this by contacting your local distributor, or you can talk to ProSoft Connect support in the chat window to begin the process. And finally, you'll enter the IP address range to assign to users making a secure remote connection to a gateway. So, when you create a temporary remote access tunnel into the gateway, the PC that you're using, the client, will need an IP address. And that's what this range is for. And this should be a range of addresses on the subnet of the remote network that are unused. You can then click Create Project. When you first open up Connect with your PDN account, you will have to accept the PDN service level agreement prior to completing the process of creating a project. Once this is done, you'll have the option of taking the PDN tour, which will quickly go over the basics of how PDN works. And there's also a window that will walk you through the process of activating your gateway, setting up a VPN client, and inviting team members to your project. With the project window open, you would then begin connecting your sites by adding the respective gateways to the PDN project. So just click the Add Gateway button. In the window that pops up, you can either activate a new gateway or transfer a gateway into this project from another project. To activate a new gateway, you would just enter the activation key from your gateway's web configuration page. And if you're just getting started with Connect, we have another video that goes through the process of bringing a gateway into Connect and opening VPN tunnels in more detail.
Connect will then add the gateway under the gateways section and automatically build the secure network tunnel and include that gateway and any devices connected to it in the persistent data network subnet. Now, if you've already had gateways added under your existing Connect account, you can transfer them over to the PDN project. Once the gateway is added to your project, you'll be able to see that there is a green PDN icon in the upper left corner of the gateway tile. And if you hover the mouse cursor over it, you'll see the status of the connection. Every gateway added to the PDN project will have that indicating that they are connected to the persistent data network. Once a gateway is added to the project and connected, it will stay on the PDN and your devices will be able to securely communicate with other devices in the PDN project. Now, if you need secure remote access to any of the gateways or their associated devices, just click the connect button to open a secure tunnel to the devices behind a particular gateway. If PDN is not working, if there is a communication error with your cellular network, for instance, you'll see an alert on the project tile here. The PDN icon will also be gray on the gateway tile. The activity feed will also record any communication errors with the gateways on the PDN. Now a few tips to avoid some potential problems when you create a PDN. Since the persistent data network is a layer 2 network, if two gateways are linked together via their LAN ports, either directly or through a switch, and then connected to the PDN, there will be a loop. Typically, since the gateways in a project will be widely dispersed, this won't be an issue, but if during configuration or testing, perhaps, you should plug multiple gateways into the same switch, you must be aware of this. We also advise against plugging a PLX or ICX directly into a DLR or device level ring unless you do so through an ETAP device. DRL sends multicast packets every 400 microseconds. And this just slams the WAN with way too much traffic. And it will bog down or even drop a WAN link. So again, if you do need to connect to DLR, do so through an ETAP device. Finally, be sure to keep track of the data limits of your cellular plan. PDN uses extra data to securely manage the gateways and your data. This is due not only to its always-on dynamic, but also the increased data usage to securely encrypt communications. If a customer's data plan runs out, gateways might be disconnected or have their data rate throttled by the carrier, and PDN won't work. ProSoft cannot control this, so keep it in mind. As stated previously, the PDN is a Layer 2 network. This means the IP addresses of all equipment and devices to be accessed by PDN must be on the same subnet, and there cannot be conflicts with the ProSoft Gateway LAN IP addresses. And that should do it. If you have any questions or would like more information about Persistent Data Network, Use the link in the description to go to the ProSoft Connect page or feel free to give us a call. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're interested in more training and educational videos about industrial communication technology and gear, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy training.